Welcome back to the basement yard. Danny's here, obviously. For show. Sure. Got a new chain. For show. Sure. Obviously. Keeping it fresh. So when you what what chain are you gonna stop at? Let's just start off with that. What chain are you gonna stop at? Because I'm sure you're gonna look like Micker M- Micker. Micker. Mr. T pretty soon. I think this is it. This is it. I keep them very small. I keep the pieces small. Anyone believe that this is it? No? Great. I do. Yeah, I'm sure you do. We'll see. We'll see. You got some new ice. Depends on the race or not. Jesus' face. Damn. Got the Jesus on the chain. Yeah. And it don't mean shit. All that shit is religious. For sure. Yeah. Well, these are just garden angels. Yeah, you pray. I do. You pray? Yeah. How much? Not a lot. You don't pray? No, I do. When, like, you're throwing up and you're like, why God me? Yeah, yeah. I do that all the time. Like, I'll walk, like, I'll walk by a church with my dog and, like... Just, like... Just a quick, just yeah, 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 just a quick one, just to be like, "What's up, man? I remember you." Yeah, GC. yeah. <laughs> you ever see Greek people do the sign of the cross? Yes, it's a it's a thing. Yeah, it's like big. one of my friends is Greek, and every time we drive past a Greek church, really, yeah, it's like fourteen like signs of the cross, and it's just like some some kissing of the hand, I think. This one, they they do the whole shebang. It's like trying to make them like just sign in a bunch. Yeah, like, G- yeah. <laughs> It's like Jesus. What are you? What are you telling God that I don't? I can't hear. Are you telling Jesus to steal? Yeah, you tell like you telling him to take take second base. That's literally what it looks like. Greek people are just like, you're like, like, yo, what does that mean? Like, I why are you telling know. secrets? Like, I'm sitting right here. Tell me too. I wonder when that all started. What the whole? Yeah. Yeah. Who started the hand motion? Catholic. Probably. And who started this? I know this is weird too. Like, fuck you, man. Do you do this or this? This is the M M&M. and oh no, what is the M M&M? and I do the M M&M and M one. The M M&M? and M, I don't yeah. do that. I don't yeah. really throw middle fingers at people. Remember when we used this to this feels be... more strong? Like it's got some brace behind it. I got my my thumb there to be like. Ugh! It's very white though. This is white. Fuck you, man. It's like that's like a a, a white dude in traffic. You fucking loser, cut me off, man. <laughs> Fuck you. Double is so fucking corny. Yeah, double's corny. Oh my god. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Do you remember this? Hell yeah, yo, come scissor me. Is this on camera? Can they see that? Probably. Do you, you remember when you could like? Oh, oh my god, it's a pussy. Yeah. It's not a pussy. No. It's just your hands. It's your friend's fingers. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one where you made a dick, where you got to wait. How'd you do that? Wait, you didn't know that? No, I don't know how to make it. Oh, dick. we did dicks too. How do you do dicks? Well, you kind of like just put a. Come here. Come, uh, come, fuck me. Okay. You're just in there, and then open up. It's a dick. Oh. It, but it's also just my fingers. Yeah. It's two. It's a double dick. Spoiler alert. Yeah. You know? But yeah, anyway, you would do this, open up, and be like, oh my god, it's pussy. <laughs> Yo, kids are idiots. We used to get in trouble for doing that. For doing the hand thing? Yeah. Just being like, oh, vagina. Yeah, and they'd be like, hey, don't look at that hand, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at your friend's fake pussy. It's gross. Inappropriate. Do your fractions. Do your, fra- do your goddamn long division. Dude, I must have, like... I couldn't imagine being a teacher and, like, talking to kids. Like, trying to reprimand a kid. Dude, I have no idea how to talk to children. Like, I you, talk to them like, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, <laughs> They're, like, crying. I'm like, what's wrong? What is happening? Be imagine, an adult. Imagine walking into a room every morning and being, like... In charge of 30 yeah. assholes. Yeah. Especially, like, middle school. That's the worst Oh, my God. Ages. Sit down. Everyone sit. All right. We're all going to do this. Dude, I was such a dick in, like, seventh grade. Yeah. Like, yeah, whatever. Fuck you. You ever curse at a teacher? Yeah. Yeah, but not not for I, no I did reason. That too. I feel really bad. I didn't do it for no reason. Like I I felt sick, and like yo, this is like a weird ass story, right? But I had <laughs> I had my homeroom teacher was also my Spanish teacher, right? And she was uh, Chinese and like barely spoke English, so yeah. it was really like there was a language barrier, you know. And I remember one time it was like at the beginning of the day, and I just got to school, and I was sitting at my desk, and <laughs> my friends were dicks too, and I was like, I don't feel good. I want to call my mom, like whatever. So she's like, you can't call your mom. And I'm like, all right. So I'm, I'm sitting at my desk like this, right? Because I feel sick. And she comes over to me. And I went, to, it was a public school. She comes over to me and she just kind of like leans in. And she goes, you can't pray here. <laughs> right? She says that to me. And then I literally like lift up my head. I'm like, I'm not fucking praying. Like I don't feel well. Yeah. Like, I just want to call my mom to come pick me up. And she's like, you can't pray here, right? So my friends hear this and they're dicks. Like they were the ones who were like, uh, like would just be an asshole for anybody no reason. Anybody we know? No, no, no. You don't know any of them. 
but uh, it's none of my friends from around the neighborhood. Right, right. This is my friends from school. But yo, they like they heard that and they would they came over to my table and like joined hands and were walking slowly in a circle, going, "Our Father who art in heaven." Oh my god! Be thy name. Like around me, I'm like, "Yeah, you guys are dicks." And like, I'll, I'm just like still like not feeling it. Then she goes, uh, she's like, "All right, you can call your mom or whatever." Like she felt bad, like she apologized or something, right? Yeah. So I call my mom and I'm like, "I'm not really feeling well." Blah blah blah. So she's gonna come pick me up, and. And then I get back to my desk. I have my head down again because I don't feel well. She slides me a, a book, right? It's a Bible in Chinese. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do with this? I was like, I can barely pass your fucking Spanish class. What do you, what do you think? I took Chinese fucking in fifth grade? So she barely spoke English. Told me I couldn't pray. Then gave me a Chinese Bible. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. None of it made sense. What was her name? Miss She. Yeah. That was her name. Miss She. Miss She. <laughs> she fucking hated my guts. She definitely hated Yo, you. Yo, we were such dicks in middle school. It was crazy. Yeah, those man. are the golden years of dickheadedness, though. Dickheadedness. Dickheadedness. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like... She spoke with a microphone, too. Fire. <laughs> she, she had a machine, and she would sing the national anthem every morning. No fucking way. Uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, every morning she would sing. And like one of my friends like had his foot on the wire one day. And just pop that shit out mid fucking Star Spangled Banner, and she like was just like looking at the mic, and she was like, like trying to get it to work. She why, talked to a mic. Why would she? I have no idea, dude. That's so strange. Yeah, and she had like a the system of marking like grading people's behavior. Yeah, you get like checks or minuses. Okay, I had mad minuses, and there was one day we were taking a like a state test or whatever, and a bunch of my friends and like we were all just like being like. Oh, Trevor's trying to copy on, on me. She's like looking for the name Trevor, like trying to give him minus. He doesn't fucking exist. Oh my god! Yeah, you guys are fucking masterminds. <laughs> yeah, so. we were fucking. Idiots. You guys are a collective group of assholes. Yeah, it was it was really bad because in sixth grade I was still really good. Like I was a straight A student my whole life. Yeah. On, not my whole life until sixth grade. After sixth grade, they took all the bad kids and put them in one class, which was my class in seventh yeah. grade. After that, they're like, all right. It's a great spot to flourish in too. Oh yeah. It's like going to jail. I would never ever want to teach that grade i think no. it's the worst that was when i was at my peak like yeah. worst like kind of child yeah i would say uh, that's when it started for me that's when it was all like yo pussies yeah i broke I, hand pussies i broke bad around that time definitely definitely <laughs> broke bad around yeah, that yeah, time yeah i was heisenberg-esque at that yo moment. wait do you remember uh milk milk lemonade around the corner fudges made do people not like some people not know what that is if you don't you suck. Yeah, hold on. I got I, I like so I brought this up to someone and they knew like the basic one, but then there's more. Around the corner fudge is made. There's something after that. Yeah. Oh, so I don't know. I don't know that. Milk, milk. Mm-hmm. Insinuating. Obviously. Breast milk. Titty milk. Nipple milk. For sure. Milk, milk, lemonade. Vagina pp. V vagina pp. Around the corner, fudge is made. That's poo poo at your butt butt. Yes, poo poo caca. Uh. Stick your finger up the hole. Whoa. Out comes a Tootsie Roll. Ew. <laughs> you went to Catholic school, right? Uh, in high school, but this was way before that. Oh, I was about to say. No, yeah. Uh, no, so it was milk, milk, lemonade, around the corner, fudge is made. Stick your finger up the hole. Out comes oh, a Tootsie, tootsie roll. roll. Stick your finger twice as far. Out comes a Hershey bar. <laughs> Why are we singing this? And why are you talking about going so far up your own asshole? <laughs> Twice as far, dude. Twice as far. How much of your finger do you think you can get in your butthole right now? Like no warm up? No warm up. Cold ass. Cold cold, cold ass. Cold anus. Yeah. How far can I get my finger in? Cold it? an index finger. I'm, like I can't fight it? No. no. I think I can't get in. Can you get this far? I don't know if I could get in. I need to like really wiggle it in. I hear you. You know what I mean? Play around a little bit. Not that I've tried. I'm just saying, twice as far, that's deep in your butt, dude. At that point, might as well have a penis in I there. have a little finger, too. I wouldn't even want this in my butt. Yeah, no. No way. No. Nah. I've never had to go to the doctor and get any of that stuff yet, but I'm going to no, have to no. soon. You well, know? Yeah, at some point. You're going to have to look at your butt. Look at your balls. Look at your pain. Oh, they've seen my dick and balls. Yeah. I, I have your like, head and cough. Yeah, one of my worst fears, by the way, is when I know I'm going to the doctor get a physical and they got to grab your nuts and like do whatever yeah i'm like man i really hope i don't get hard 
Yeah, I've had that feeling before too, but that was like way more when I was younger and I associated everything with like sex. Sex. Yeah. I was like, this guy's gonna touch my dick, I'm gonna get a boner. <laughs> and then all my friends are gonna call me gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. I was like something be- you know what would always feel weird when they would press on your stomach? Yeah, but like near my nuts? Yeah, and it would feel kinda good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would, they they would, would go do like, like this? this And they would have like You know how like Michael Phelps Before he dives into a pool They'd have his He'd have his hands like that And he'd be pressing <laughs> Yeah I'm like, like yo Why you gotta brace your hand like, I You're know. a strong man like, I'm just a young boy Just press it with one hand What's this double fucking fisting What's going on he would, And they would like Make small talk with you. He'd be like Alright so like Anything like School's good Like everything's alright And I'm like This dude's getting Gradually closer to my penis And it's starting to feel Better and better Yeah So then a part of me Is like Am I gay and then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like this is the type of shit you think about when you're 14 years old. You don't know any better. Yeah, you're like, oh, dude, I don't know. Like, you're scared. Yeah, and then you're just like, because no one's seen happened your, in there. No one's seen your wang dang. I, I, oh, my dad would also be in the room too, though. Oh my! I would be like, yeah, nah. No, you, well, first of all, my dad would never take me to the doctor. He's my, just like, go with your mother. <laughs> and my mom, I'm not showing her my wiener. My dad hated go, like taking me to like to the doctor. He would like literally do like scratch offs like while like the doctor like checked out my penis. He would do like cash words. <laughs> He'd just be sitting there just like, yeah, no, like he's been good, like yeah, <laughs> like he hasn't coughed in a while. Yeah, just like doing fucking scratch off. I love when they do that with the scratch offs. Old people love smacking scra- it. They love smacking scratch offs, and they love smacking uh, newspapers against their hands. Ah, God damn it! Yeah, they do. They do. Fuck. What? I never. know. They're always like. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? I know you want to get the scratch off. Is it a pack there. of cigarettes you're trying to pack? You know what I'm saying? Do you do you ever play scratch offs? Not typically, but I have. Dude, when I used to get drunk, like I would always buy scratch offs. Why? I don't know. Like I would get a sandwich and be like, give me like five cash words. So like, let me get two number fives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seventeen. And they would always give you the wrong number. Yeah. I was like, dude, this is fourteen. I didn't want this game. I wanted seventeen. Yeah. Clearly, I said that. It's the one on the right. What's the most you think you ever won on a scratch off? 60 bucks yeah i think like around there too i've won like 50 50 dollars i would love to fucking win the lottery but yo you know what's really fucked up those, ever, those fake scratch offs oh yeah we those, did my, they're once, terrible to do to somebody yeah they want one of my family members did it uh on christmas to my uncle and he was so happy and like flipping out how I think is, it was how, like how's he doing financially before that I mean, he's not like strapped for cash. That okay. would be one. That'd be I, fucked I, up. You know you're what I mean? Like it's your like, super poor your, uncle, your poor, your poorest uncle, and he's just like, "Oh, I did it." He's like, "Nah, bro, got him, yeah. pussy, still poor." Read the back. Yeah. So all right, so he did it. He scratched it. Yeah, I think it was like fifteen grand, and he like, "Oh my god!" Like he was like obviously happy. It's fifteen grand, and then. I think one of my aunts was like, now read it! And then we're, I was like, oh, this is fucked up. Man. Yeah, it is fucked. I wouldn't want to be a part of that. No, I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't know. Want to be a part of that. Otherwise, I would have blown up the whole operation. I'd be like, hey, so I'm going down later. Yeah, 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 Just yeah. be on your toes. Like fucking deep throat in the parking lot. Like slide him like a fucking one of those fucking envelopes. Like, it's a joke. It's shit. She's like, here's a radio. I'll call you in 45 yeah. minutes. <laughs> no one is going to re- understand a deep throat reference at all. But that's Metal what- Gear Solid. Well, and it's also, it's from Watergate. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I associate Deep Throat... With video games, of course. With Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. You know, second. First, obviously, we're talking Heather here. Do you like history? Yes. Absolutely. Heather Brooke. Talk about history. Talk about... <laughs> she made history. <laughs> Heather Brooke. Anyone who knows Heather Brooke? And I if think, you don't, Google her. I think Heather and Deep Throat turned most people my age into men. I think she did. She did. She She was like... <laughs> A beacon of hope to all of us. A beacon of hope. <laughs> oh, man. No one will ever measure up, though. No, no one can beat her. She's undefeated. Undefeated. You know the internet's undefeated? Heather Brooks. Heather undefeated. Brooks undefeated, yeah. Fucking undefeated. She's iconic. Oh, without a doubt. She's amazing. I would buy her merch. Yeah. In a second. Yeah. We should probably look that up after the show. Hell yeah. And see if she has any. I'd if- be so fire. She was like a Patreon. Like on our like a patron and like knew the of show. ours. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'd do anything for that, right? I first of all, I'd Venmo her money back. <laughs> I'd be like, don't just the fact that you just know me is great. Isn't it weird how like porn stars just like disappear though? Well, yeah, they just give up. They just like stop work, like stop working. Well, they probably collect a bunch of quiche and then they do other things. Yeah. You don't want to get 
pounded for the rest of your life, you know? <laughs> you never know. You got to give these holes a break. You ever see, like, some porn stars, like, they'll be older, and you're like, ah, oh, we're still doing this? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like... It's like it's like if somebody gives you a burger that, like, isn't made the right way, but you're like, no, no, I didn't say I wouldn't eat it. You know? I'm just saying. It's like, yeah. Ah, all right, all right. This happened again. Okay. It's like Jeter's last year. You're like, come on, man. Like, you don't want to see him go. At least take a pay cut. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean, help come the on. team out. Jesus. Ah, uh, it's tough. We're we're gonna immortalize you. This is the type of stuff I think about, like while I'm by myself. Yeah. I talk to myself constantly. That I know. You think you think it's like something like mental I have, or do you think it's just what I? I maybe I have like ADD or something. Why? Because you talk to yourself? Yeah. Wait, do you talk to yourself like in your head or out loud? Both. Well, I think that in your head is very normal, but just having a full on conversation like, nah, yeah, uh, uh, kind of like out loud is a little fucking nuts. Like I'll, now we're talking about crazy guy in the subway. No, nah, like I'll do that from time to time. Not like that. Just being like, like, I don't, I'm not like talking to actually. I talk to my dog. I talk to my dog like it's a person that has like. That has human abilities. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing, but I talk you know? to Charlie. Yeah, I've I, talked to Charlie about his like behavior. I've sat him down and talked to him. Like, come here, sit down. Let me talk to you. And this dog is like, what the fuck is this person doing? Come here, little man. Let me talk <laughs> with you. See if I can paint you this large picture. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like, listen, man. Like, what you did today, like, wasn't cool. Whenever you <laughs> yell at your dog, you sound like an idiot because you're like, what are you doing? And your dog's just looking at you like, dude, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you're like, yo, why did you do that? Explain to me why you would do that. And they're just like, dude. Why do you keep smelling the floor? <laughs> like, he's going to turn around and be like, oh, uh, I, I smell something. Like, uh, you left some beef down here from that uh, negamaki you got. Yeah. Fucking dog doesn't know what we're fucking talking about. I wonder what they hear. Is it just like, like, remember in the Rugrats when they used to talk to Spike? Wow. Remember that? And he all was black and, and white. Black and white and be like, I mean, I feel like sounds are just sounds, so he has to be hearing what we're saying. Well, they know sit and shit like that. Yeah, but yeah. But it's just sounds that we make. Right. They don't understand our... Hey, why you know, not? Why can't dogs yeah, understand us? I know. Like, we're teaching. We're, like, they don't have the capability. Yeah. I, I, They're I, smart. If I could teach you how to... Like, not run away when I take you off the leash and, like, you know what I'm saying? And you know how to sit and whatever. Yeah. You can understand some certain words. Why can't I just say a whole sentence? And it's also, like, when other dogs bark at them, they know how to bark back. But if we bark at them, they're kind of like, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you, what are you making fun of me now? Yeah, you can't say that. What's the matter with you? It's offensive. Don't bark at me. <laughs> it's kind of like the N-word for yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to bark like, at a whoa, dog. Whoa, and, whoa. Like, and they're like, whoa, that's for us. That's us. That's not your thing. <laughs> you can't say it. You guys can't do it. First of all, you can't even do it correctly. You sorry. sound ridiculous. Like when you do it like around other dogs, they're like, sorry about him, man. Listen. Listen, but, my owner, he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, he, I'm sorry. he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just go get this ball. My dog actually gets pissed when I when I fake bark at him because I'm trying to get him to talk. And he'll just look at me and get right in my face and be like, <laughs> stop. Talk about getting in your face. Super Bowl party. Charlie tried to eat my fucking sandwich out of my hand. Yeah, I know. I almost kicked him into the sky. You had, you had like the biggest like dog owner reaction you're like whoa what are you doing uh, yeah. Is, yeah isn't it like don't you get so embarrassed when your dog does something i get more embarrassed that my, if like my dog does something embarrassing than like if i did something embarrassing my dog listens to me for the most part he just like he's he, yeah, he's literally like a like a teenager yeah. or like a like a like a 12 year old kid that when you're around they're on their best behavior but when, you, <laughs> but when if you're not looking for a second they're like i'm gonna get away with this you know, because I could eat something on the floor, right. like a sandwich or like whatever, and he would just stare at it and he would never even dream of like whatever, even if I wasn't looking at him. But if I, if, if I like left the room for a second, he'd go walk right up to yeah, it. Yeah. He'd be like, oh, I could do it now. You know? He walked right up to me and was like, I'm eating the sandwich. I'm going to eat your sandwich, dude. <laughs> and I was just like, yo, bro, like, I don't know what to do. I'm a little afraid. He's like, listen, you big bitch, this sandwich is coming with me. <laughs> he was like, all right. I'm taking this. Yeah. And he went, I was like, whoa, Charlie. Also, your dog threw up all over my back seat. Puked everywhere. That was awesome. Yeah, it was great. Just driving, just driving my car. Thank God he didn't throw up on the way back, too. Yeah. That would have been terrible. But I'm just glad it wasn't poop. Yeah. 
Dog vomit's not as bad as dog poop. No, because it just comes out as food. You know what I yeah. mean? Like it's not like and thankfully <laughs> like was, a human throw up is th- crazy. Yeah, thankfully it was very cleanable. Yes. Cleanable. 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 I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but that's uh, definitely not clean able. That's, yeah, no, that's yeah. what I know. Yeah, so you know, we uh we, we, we had a nice nice weekend with the dogs, but literally that night I talked to him for like thirty minutes. And then it got to a point where I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then, like, when they're, like, sit, you talk to them like babies, you're like, hey, what's your dog voice? Your dog, like. um, I don't know. I I don't know. Why? How like do you talk you to your dog? Like, when you say, who's a little puppy? <laughs> oh, who's a little man? Yeah, you sound like, like. Yeah, fucking yeah. Mario. Yeah, and yeah, shit. yeah. Every time I see him, he gets so fucking hyped up. Yeah, seeing a dog gets so excited when you come home. I'm like, at least this fucking thing loves me. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank God. God. At least someone cares. Somebody fucking cares where I am. He's out on an hour walk right now. Hey, you got the wag going. Got the wag going. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. That's what. Yeah. Do you want to know what it is? If you call enough places and complain, they'll give you some free credits. <laughs> You're a big time complainer. Oh, uh, let me t- let me. All right, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah, I just said meat. Meat. I, I got it though, because you want to know why I said that. You know, what? I texted uh, Alana's mom, Ama, I M A. Yeah, I'ma call you soon, and I was like, I can't believe I just fucking said that. Yeah, I was like, that is. The, one of the dumbest words ever, but it's only a, a word you use to your friends. Right. Like, if you see AMA, you know what it means. Right. And for AMA, for people that don't use it, IMA. Like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So, AMA. It's AMA. Yeah. It's not EMA. Th- yeah, yeah. Which, it's, you it's know, could be confused with, like, wait, is this like a Croatian friend of yours? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but, um, uh, anyway, what the hell were we just talking about before that? I don't know. That honestly came out of absolutely I don't know nowhere. what the hell just Why happened. Why did you bring that up? Oh, no, because uh, I can't remember now. I just had a complete brain fart. Yeah. You no. brought up Ama. Yeah, but before that. We were talking about, like, dogs and shit. Yeah, we were talking about dogs. All right. Off the rails we go. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, yeah, my dog threw up in Joe's car. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. But um, talking to the dog, it feels like. It makes sense when it's happening, like when you're talking to them. You think they can understand you? Yeah. Or you're always and just like feels like they can though. You're like optimistic about this will be the time he gets it. Yeah, <laughs> this is the time he knows. Yeah, dude, I talked to my Roomba the other day. Yeah. It was it was driving towards an area that I didn't <laughs> want it to go, and I'm like, hey, get away from there! And then I was like, what am I doing? Get out of there! What am I doing? I, 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 Roombas are amazing. Though. What's your Roomba's name? DJ Roomba. Uh, mine's the big suck. That's fire. <laughs> yeah, I went. I went full Parks and Rec. DJ Roomba. Yeah. What is that? That's uh on the show. It's a uh, Roomba that they have, but they attach a uh, an iPod to it, so it plays music while it cleans up the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. That's really smart. It's very smart. You know what's also very smart? Mm. Going to patreon.com slash the basement yard <laughs> and signing up to be a patron of the show. Um. Like we said a couple episodes ago, we've had a huge influx. We had an even bigger influx of people coming in now. A lot of people supporting the show now. We can't thank you enough. Yeah. And we said it on the other show, you guys bought these beautiful microphones. That's why I'm, we're about to get new cameras in this. And bitch. we're about to get new cameras, and this is because of you guys. And we just wanted to say thank you. And then to the other people that aren't there, fuck you. I mean, fuck, go to, fuck. A- I mean, what? What? We'll cut that out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just no, where are you? Yeah, no, we'll start from, out, you know, start, we'll, yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so the people that aren't in there, you just go to patreon.com. Slash the basement yard. And sign up and become a patron, all right? Come chill with your boys. There's extra content up there. Me and Danny do a bi-weekly segment called What the Fuck Does Patreon Want, where we answer your questions. Um, Hell, yeah. And what yeah. else is Oh, you get every episode a week early. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, some tiers you get a personalized video message from me and Danny for show for show about to record mad ones of those yeah we have like 20 something to do yeah um, so we're gonna do that right after this yeah by the way and you know and guess what our patrons they get the real love not that you guys don't get the real love but 
we show them the real love because they put that money in there. They're part of the family, I feel yeah. like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's real love there. So we, there we just appreciate that. I honestly, like, I would love to get it to the point where we could just pay for, like, a legitimate studio to record in. Yeah. That's and some good. fucking engineer. Yeah. So he could just handle all this shit. Yeah. You know, we, just, we just show up, be assholes, and go home. That would be cool. That would be cool. That would be great. That would be quack It would be quack to yeah. be honest yeah. with you. Get, like, a screen oh. and just, like... Have a fucking guy back there. Yeah. Guy, like, that, guy that went to school, like a dork. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe you did that, oh dude! Oh my god, you work for us now. Yeah. No, but that would be great. Uh, but um, also, the other thing is too is uh, if you guys want to see us do deaf a uh, slam deaf poetry slam jam. It's, it's not deaf poetry. It's slam poetry. It's slam poetry. Deaf poetry was like when Kanye was doing like the bittersweet verse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to go see us do slam poetry, oh yeah, youtube.com dot slash Santagato Studios. There's some cool videos We're there. We're having a lot of fun yeah, on Yeah, that there. Slam Poetry video was so fucking funny. That's probably the most fun I've ever had making something. And that also was probably the, the I think the most, like the video that put out, that gave the most reaction to people. Like people I knew personally were reaching out and being like, yo, this shit was funny, which never happens. Yeah, but that's usually when you know it's funny. Yeah. When they come and they're like, yo, this shit was hilarious. Yeah. And just like random people texting me. And a lot of like DMs and people reposting it. Like people people love that shit. But it yeah. was just so it came out way better than I thought it was. I, I thought so too. Like we almost didn't shoot it because one of the cameras was dead and the other the fucking battery was like fried. Yeah, shout so out to we were the like, all right. Well. And then <laughs> and then we tried to uh we used the other camera that I have and it ended up working out and it was fucking great. Yeah, man. That, that, was that was honestly the most fun I've had shooting something in a long, long time. It's not that I don't have fun shooting, but a like, long time. Dude, we were... And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Elton's usually on every episode now. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm not the man you think I am at all. No, 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 no. 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 I'm a rocket man. Rocket man. Rocket man. Burning out his rooms out here alone. <laughs> da, da, da. Are we going song. to that thing? Yeah, dude. We talked about that numerous times. Yes. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta They're look expensive. That up. Yeah. Like the highest seat is like two hundred thirteen dollars. Well, we're gonna have to figure that out. What are you gonna Patreon. Patreon.com slash yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but um other thing I want to talk about too, twenty one Savage. Oh yeah, that's right. He got deported. Trump got deported twenty one Savage. Well, I don't know if he like I mean if he like did it personally. No, no, no. He was like, listen, guys, get, go get 21 Savage. Listen, 21, 21 Savage, <laughs> great artist. Get him out of my country. Get him out of here. He's a Brit. Isn't that so weird, though? Where's his accent? Well, he's not from like London. I know, but he's from Britain, though. No. He's from like, uh, from what I saw, it's these islands that are like, I don't know where they are. I thought he was from London. No, he's Got not this like. Beat from London. No, he's not. I'm in London. Got this beat from London. London. No, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're idiots. Oh, no. He's from like these islands or whatever that aren't like London, mm-hmm. but they're owned by the UK. So technically, he's like, oh, all right, you know. But didn't he say he was like from Atlanta though? Yeah. Who knows? Like he could have maybe gotten here when he was like fucking four. They said he moved here when he was twelve. Yeah, so that's mad years. Can you? Cl- how old do you have to be to cl- like? How long do you have to live somewhere to like claim it? Oh, well, that's a good question. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like I would say you're more of a, of like a New Yorker, yeah, than I am. Because mm-hmm. like I didn't move to the city until like three or four years ago, right? You've like kind of always been around the city, so like I would say you're more of a New Yorker. I'm I'm from the, the burbs. Yeah, you need to put some more time in. Yeah, so like I would say like five years maybe you could claim it. People are very They're, hesitant this, to let you claim that New Yorker saying, thing. That's what I'm saying. I was born in the Bronx, though. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's something that people say when they're not from New York. So don't say that. Yeah. Like some like someone who like lives in California for 50, like 20 years. Like, oh, but I was born in Brooklyn. That's great. Yeah. You never fucking were yeah. here, though. Yeah. So it's what true. does that mean? We're just going to give it away? You could be a New Yorker? No. Well, I mean, what we mean by New Yorker is like New York Cityite. Wow, that's wrong. New York can't say citizen. It's just New Yorker. Yeah, but uh, we're all technically New Yorkers, though. If you live here, I mean, for me, if you're not the majority from one of, the of fi- my life, I've lived in New York. If you're not from the five boroughs, right. you're not from New York City, right? And New York City, I think you get the stamp of New Yorker. See, I don't ever say like I'm from 
New York, I say I live in the city. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, I haven't given my st- myself that stamp of, like, like New York City born and bred. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's in, my, yeah. it's in my blood. I tell people that. I said, I'm, you are, though. I'm from New York City, yeah. You are. You are. But it's like. If I said Queens, they wouldn't so, even so know. What's the t- so, what's the time frame, though? I don't know. You I, think five or 10? I don't know. 20? New Yorker? 45? I mean, you weren't that far out, bro. Like, you, if you, you could take a train there. 30 minutes I was here. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you ain't got no subways, dog. Nah, nah, nah. We straight bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers need car. Someone tried to ch- check me for that once. Really? That I wasn't a New Yorker. What the fuck's their problem? I was like, yo, hold the fuck up, bro. Shut your face. Some, some dude on Twitter, I remember one time, he was like, yo, you're not a New Yorker or whatever. You know where he was from? Oh, Westchester. <sighs> I was like. One of us ruining it for everyone That's what else. I'm saying. I'm like, bro. I'm like, listen, I was going to get at you, but you're from Westchester. Yeah. There's no trains over there. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, we- you got to get on a train. And not this, the fucking... Yeah. The whatever that is. Yonkers is like the biggest city. That's where he was from. Yonkers. Yeah. He was from Yonkers. I'm like, bro, you're not yeah. from the city. I'm sorry. No. Why are you trying to check me? No. I'm right here. But 50, I get on the motherfucking train. But 50, buses and shit. But 50 did say all the other horrors, they come from Yonkers. That's fine. But you can't you can't be like, yo. I'm a New Yorker. Well, no, I, I don't even care about that. You can't check me, though. No. I'm right here. I've lived here long. I've lived in the city long enough to know the ins and outs of, like, what you're supposed to do in the city and shit. Yeah. Like, that, like, I've graduated to that. <laughs> but, like, I would never, like, if I wrote a biography, yeah. I'd be like, in the streets of New York City, <laughs> I used to take the subway to school. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I never did that. Yeah. You know? I fucking walked to school. The dude. difference is, I can say that I grew up in New York City. But you'd have to say I grew up in Westchester. That's 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 what it that's is. That's the only difference. So it's where it's where you grew up. So that's sure. why I'm saying. So Twenty One Savage grew up in both some things. Both he grew up in right, some right. English place, yeah. and then moved here. I think when he was like twelve or thirteen, lived in Atlanta. Dude, I can't even imagine being deported and what that's. What do they do? I don't. Do you even... get to bring your things? I'm being serious. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even trying to like make a joke. Like, no, yeah, listen, this it, deportation shit is fucking serious. Yeah. And I just don't know what the process is. Not, like, I see those videos of like people's dads getting deported. Like, what's happening here? I don't know. Do you get to bring your stuff? I just feel like, yo, if you're going to live here and just abide by all of the rules for like, yo, since 12, he's, that's like, I think he's 21, or, oh, he's 24 or something. That's what I'm saying. So, so if you've been here for that long, you've uh, like abided by all the rules, you've paid taxes, you've done this, you've done that. Like, to me, it's like, bro, you're like a citizen. Bro. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Like, it's not like you're temporarily here for like. Also though, too, like, I think of it like this also, like these guys that are like entertainers and they're from other places, like whenever they do a show in your city, they're boosting that city's economy way up. Mm-hmm. Everything around it, bars, restaurants, shit like that. Like, you know, I mean, our our case, it's different because like Madison Square Garden is like right in the heart of New York City mm-hmm. and there's fucking restaurants and shit everywhere. But like when there's like a Ranger game, like when we went to the Ranger game and we left and we went to watch the end of the Patriots game, the Chiefs game, that place was fucking packed. Yeah. So like having places to go, they boost the economy. Like yeah. these guys are putting money in other states. Like they're they're giving back. Like doing these shows and shit. Yeah. I just don't understand like how visas work. I just don't. I don't. I don't understand. You yeah. have to get it every year. Like I don't understand it. Well, I here's the thing, and I don't think we should just let everyone into the country because then I don't think so either. There has to be some sort of rules here. Yeah. But all I'm saying is, like, I'm not saying like, yo, just let him in. He's gonna make bread or like whatever, you know. But what I am saying is, if he's gonna be here for Nine, ten years, like a decade. Yeah. Why does he have to leave now? Like he's been here for a decade. Yeah. Like, and I like just, I get being like, yo, you have a year to work or do whatever you have to do, and then you got to go back. Like, but yo, if you can be here for nine, like I just don't. Yeah. And how did it take this long? <laughs> you know. You know. That's why I'm afraid. That's why I'm like really afraid to get like super famous. Shit just because I feel like it. some like some part of my paperwork you've done is something. fucked up. Yeah, you've done something. You know what I mean? It's like yo, you didn't pay taxes in like 2006. Yeah. Like, now you got to go to jail. You owe twelve hundred dollars. You got to do time. You're like, whoa. I was like, what the fuck is this? Shit is scary, bro. 
That's the thing. Like, we gotta pull back on this podcast a little bit. I can't. I can't handle this. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting too big, I too think. Too many people watching. Too many people I can't, watching. I can't do this, man. You, you ever think, like, uh, like you'd be capable of having, like, a celebrity meltdown? Oh, my God, yeah. Like, I feel like I would have a meltdown way faster than any of these, like, other people. Like, um, like, t- like <laughs> you, be- have, you have regular meltdowns yeah, now. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. No way. But Bieber had, like... He- is he a citizen of here too? Does he have dual citizenship? I have no idea. Probably not. I think Drake does. I think Drake's a dual citizen because he has a, he owns property in Los Angeles. I know that. I don't know what Bieber does though. I don't know. He probably lives here most of the year. I, I don't I have no idea. I have no idea how citizenship works, no. and I feel like I should know. Well, I f- <laughs> do you think you could pass a citizenship test? There's tests, dude. There's citizenship. We have to do that. Wait. So when you come here you get, and you apply for citizenship... You have to they, just know about the culture? You have to be like, who made the first American flag? Betsy Ross. Right. They'll be like, how many stars are in the flag? The first one? 13. And what do they represent? The colonies. So the, they have stuff like that. But like, what the fuck does that do? Well, it just has to show you that you... like. It, it's, it's a test of your knowledge of the country that you're becoming a part of. But who gives a shit? Why is that even relevant? The government, I guess. That's so random. I know. You never heard of a citizenship test? Dude, I know people who were born and raised here have no idea who Betsy Ross... They probably would confuse her with Betty Crocker. Like, oh, she make pots and pans? Do you think you'll pass a citizenship test? Probably. Because if they ask questions like that, yeah. like, I know like the basics of it. But right. if they ask me to name all 13 colonies, I'd, I'd need like an afternoon. Go for it. No. <laughs> Do, do you know all of them, like, for sure? Like, if I started rattling them No, you don't. Why would you know that? I know Virginia's one of them. Virginia, the Carolinas, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. New Jersey's definitely not in there. Delaware. <laughs> do, um, hold on. I got to get this out because New Mass- Jersey... Massachusetts. No, because, yo, if anything was new, I feel like if it was new, if they said new... Oh, New Jersey was in there. Yeah, All right, because, go ahead, go because, ahead. Because it's new. All right, so name them. So there had to be an old Jersey. You know what I'm saying? An old Jersey. Yeah. So, all right. You fucked me up, though, now. No, you're good. Virginia. Hey, okay. The, the Carolinas. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to open this up, get all of them. All right. Okay, you said Virginia. The Carolinas. The Carolinas, yes, okay. that's three. Delaware. Delaware's there. New York. New York is there. New Jersey. New Jersey is there, to my surprise. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is there. Um, Maine? No. Fuck. Uh, Vermont? No. Um, Think small. Rhode Island. There you go. Um, so that's eight? Damn, there's still five more of these? Yeah. Um, I said Pennsylvania, right? No, but yes, that's all one right, of them. All right, all right. Um, Did I say Vermont? And that's on there, right? Vermont's no, it's not. Vermont's, Vermont's not, on, not there. on there. So no. I have nine of the 13. Yeah. Um, West Virginia? No. Georgia? Georgia. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. I knew it was one of those ones in Maine, Vermont, I forget that's a state sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Connecticut. And Connecticut. How many of those do you think you would have got? Uh, like I said, I would need an afternoon. Probably around a lot there, of trial right? and error, but yeah. I think I'd get there. I would just now, name honestly, every state now, I know on, now, the, on the East Coast. Now I know the now I know the thirteen colonies. I mean, you probably forgot already. Do yeah. you remember the first? Do you could you just shot in the dark? What year was the first colony like set up? It was Virginia. Seventeen seventy four. No. Seventeen sixty five. Seventeen seventy six was the Declaration of Independence. I know that's when, but that's when we like officially like got away from them. I think Virginia might have been 1765, maybe? No. It was 1607. 1607. You're only yeah. off by a whole fucking hundred years. <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, we were here. See, if you ask me that yeah, but, question. But, but England still, they were still running shit. Like, they still had they still had their hand in us. That's when we, we decided to become our own country. It was 1776. Okay. Told them to suck this ass. We told England to suck our ass? Yeah. We were like, hey, suck this ass. Yeah. Declaration of suck this ass right here. 
I think the conversation went a little differently than that. I think, yeah, they probably used different words for sure. Yeah, probably like suck thy ass or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a little warmer. Like, and they put like an E at the end Why of S. Why did they talk so like weird know. back in the day? I don't know. How the to, fuck did... They, to thy window, Brent. Dude, just say it. How the fuck did they write with feathers? Who would have thought... Who thought that up? Yo, hold on. Let's mutilate that bird. We can make pens out of it. Pass me that bird. And what is ink? What is ink? I don't even know. What is ink? How do they make ink? Were they squeezing that out of octopuses? That's what, Octopi? Yeah, maybe. No, they weren't. No. What is ink? I don't know. Yo, I feel like that's way too easy to not know. Like, we you should look know at, that. Do you ever look at shit like a TV and be like, yo, how the fuck does this work? <laughs> Even when like you have like a second where like you kind of just break down, you're like, "This is amazing, dude." I think about this that. Is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. There's a wire bringing me something that's happening in another country, mm -hmm. and I could see it, dude. I think about that all the time with like texting. I'm like, "How did it get there?" And then who is the genius that came up with that? Just be like, "Hey, listen, we're gonna set up these satellites. They're all gonna go." Bing, they're all gonna bounce off each other like a pinball, and guess what? Your friend's gonna get it and go, ha, ha, lol. How do I type a word, and then it hits the the Wi-Fi it waves? Goes, it goes out into in, the earth in the air, and then it flies to your phone, yeah. and then connects into letters. What? How is that happening? It's it's amazing. I it's don't amazing. understand. You know what else is amazing? What? Tell me. It better be amazing. <laughs> oh, it is. MVMT watches. Watches are awesome. Movement watches, okay? You already know I have like five of these. Make me look like a pimp, like I like I own some stuff. For sure. A restaurant, some real estate. Hell yeah. I don't own either of those things. I would love to run a restaurant. <laughs> I would love to own a bar. But if I owned a bar, I would have an MD MVMT watch. You know why? Because it looks great, and it's a good bargain. They start at just $95. Other watches, you're looking at $200 to $300. How? Some, some are thousands of thousands. dollars. It's, it's too crazy. Um, but, you know, I got a couple of them. I got a black on black. You know what I'm saying? Seen it. You seen that? Love it. Uh, they understand that living under a tight budget, because they lived it too, these guys who started this company, and um, they're, they're college dropouts. Me and Danny are college dropouts. Relatable as F. <laughs> <laughs> Very relatable. Started yeah. a company. I'm all about that. For sure. Um, almost 2 million watches sold in over 160 countries. That's a lot of countries. A lot of countries. Yes. Way more than I could name. Yes. I know maybe 18. I'm around the same there. Eight, 18 and a half is where I'm going to set the over under there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they, like I said, they sold over 2 million watches in over 160 countries. Dude, they're just really nice watches. If you're getting someone a gift, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, so maybe you want to get you know, your boyfriend a watch or your girlfriend a watch. Watches are unisex. Why do you say boyfriend look at me like that? What? I, what? I don't care. Not you get... All right, whatever. I thought you were going to get me a watch. Oh, I'm not getting you anything. God dang it. Um, anyway, uh, you can get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns. By going, that's huge. By going to mvmt.com slash basement, 15% uh, off, free shipping, free returns, mvmt.com slash basement. Now I don't need you. I'll go get 15% off. Go get it yourself. Already a cheap watch, and you're getting it 15% off. Don't need you. Boom, bada ba boom, pow. Okay, next we have <laughs> stamps.com. <laughs> stamps.com. Um, brings all of the services of the U.S. Post Office right to your desktop. Uh, you know, sometimes it's it's 2 a.m. You yeah. need to ship something. Post Office isn't open. Yeah. You know? So you do it right, right at your computer. Listen, Post Office is awesome, but they don't stay open all the time. Not only that, but sometimes it gets a little packed. You don't want to wait behind. You yeah. don't got much time to be waiting in line for I things. You. You know? Or maybe you have social anxiety. You don't want to go out into the world. You'd rather stay in. You're a hermit. Exactly. I Light a relate. candle. Don't put any of the lamps on. Make it real you. dark. I you know what you. I'm saying? Um, but you can buy and print official U.S. postage for any letter, any package, any class of mail using your own computer and printer. Um, and then the mail carrier just picks it up. No trips to the post office required. It couldn't be easier. Okay? That's a, that sounds like door-to-door -door service for me. I've Every time I've ever mailed anything, I'm using stamps.com. Gotta love it. I love not leaving the house. 
I'm getting lazier as the day goes on. No, no, no. Don't lie about yourself. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I'm a workaholic, man. I, just, I really get after it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah trust me. <laughs> Stamps.com not only saves you time, it also saves you money. Um, you know, there's some discounts on postage you can't even get at the post office. So talk about... Save just, some money. Just piling on the advantages here. Um Right now, you can enjoy Stamps.com service with a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus postage and a digital scale without long-term commitments. Go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. Uh, that is Stamps.com. Uh, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in basement. You are welcome. Okay? Start sending some stuff with Stamps. Start start sending some stuff with Stamps.com. That's a great slogan. Guys, Stamps, hit me up. <laughs> Start sending stuffs. <laughs> Start sending stuffs. Start Everything's th- plural. Watch, you ready? Start sending stuff with stamps.com. That was beautiful. Um, lastly, we have Simply Safe. Okay? 24 7 home security with no contracts or catches. 24 7. You want to be safe or do you want to, or do you want to not be safe? Yeah. AKA murder. Yeah. D- murdered. You know, only thing they're catching is criminals. And <laughs> that's the only catch you got to worry about. They believe the safest place on earth should be your own home, so you feel protected every time you shut your door and leave for work, and shut your eyes at night. Hell yeah! You know what I mean? I like, I like, I like knowing I'm safe. You go to sleep. I, I don't know if I could live by myself without Why? a without like something like Simply Safe. Well, yeah, I think home security is like. Yeah. It also helps that you're in an apartment building. That always makes me feel safe because I'm like, well, if someone came in here, they'd probably right. kill everyone. I'm on the fifth floor here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know He's going mean? to get tired before he gets here. Exactly. Yeah, I hear and you. I'd probably hear him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'd have time to just, But you know, if I lived like alone in a house, I'm I'd, hitting up Simply Safe. Yeah, uh, you need home security. And uh, they ha- there are more than 3 million people already feel this way every day thanks to Simply Safe. Uh, and yeah, you can get Simply Safe. Just go to simplysafe.com slash basement to get started. Uh, that's simplysafe.com slash basement. Uh, it's spelled S I M P L I S A F E dot com slash basement. I almost yeah. messed that up. Yeah, you did. I, I like I was like S A S I M P L I S A F E dot com slash basement. Make your home safe. And save some money while you do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, yeah, that's all we have for today. I picked up my laptop weird. I'm going to get some stuff about that, but yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, 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 you're so rich. You dropped, oh, look at you dropped his laptop. I don't know. I what feel voice like, was that? I don't know. I feel it's how like skeptical, skeptical people talk. Yeah. Do people rob houses still? Yeah, dude, <laughs> for sure, man. <laughs> nah, I know. They dude, do. crazy story. When I lived in Westchester, sorry, I jumped on you, yeah. but, um, this guy that lived in Hastings got robbed one night. On the street? No, no, no. His house. They, he, he, deal, he dealt in like a pizzeria and like had cash and stuff on him. Yeah. They drove... This, and this was, in, in the town that I grew up in, this shit like this doesn't happen. Right. It just doesn't happen. Like the weirdest thing you'll hear is like somebody stole a GPS out of a car. Like right. It's like the worst thing. But uh, they followed him home and like tied him up and robbed him in his house. Whoa. Yeah. That was like the craziest shit. It was like five minutes away from my house. It's scary. scary. Yeah, it's very scary. But do you want to know what else is scary? Valentine's Day. What? Valentine's Day kind of scares me. Why? Because it's like... I hate Valentine's Day. I don't know what to do sometimes. It's like... do you, I hate like, the menus. Yeah, and it's like... It's, it's all fixed It's menu. all fixed. Like, I don't want to eat truffle Whoa, stuff. Oh, you just did the Italian fuck you? Yeah. Did you do that on purpose or you got itchy? I got itchy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you were you were telling me to fuck off. No, I would never say that to you. Come on. Yeah. But, you know. Anyway. <clears throat> Fix menus. Hate them. Yeah, I, I think it's terrible. I don't want this fucking ahi tartar. I want something else. Yeah, you know what I mean? And they serve weird stuff. Yeah. Like, too fancy stuff. Like, I don't really eat raw foods for the most part. And usually, like, three of these courses are. You, you said tartufo the other day? Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's like... <laughs> It's a dessert. It's it's mad good. It's like it's uh, like tiramisu. No, no. Is it a pastry? No, it's ice cream. Ooh. It's like a wonder ball. Okay. Of ice cream. So basically, it's like 
half vanilla ice cream mm. with like a chocolate shell. Yeah. And then a cherry in the middle of it. Whoa. And then on the other side is chocolate with the hard chocolate shell. And then they like, you know, they dress it up with like maybe yeah. other, sh- other shit, like yeah. whipped cream. Yo, you ever have a lava cake and it just feels like it's like pouring through your body and immediately you're like jizzing like as soon as it goes through? Yeah. You know? Domino's lava cake we're talking about, right? No, I'm talking about like a restaurant lava oh, cake. Oh, no. You ever had the Domino's lava cakes? I mean, I assume they're <laughs> jam-packed with like things that'll clog these arteries. For sure. But no, lava cakes are fantastic. I love lava cakes. Love lava cakes. Yo, those videos on Instagram, I can't get enough of them. No. When someone's just going over with a, with a fucking spoon, and they're like... Uh, yeah. And also this 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 fucking lava cake just takes a shit on the plate and yeah. you're like, oh, that looks so good. I want to lick that whole plate. Yeah. Have you ever licked a plate? Yeah, dude. I've licked mad plates. When there's like caramel on it? I love oh, caramel. Though. I'll lick a fucking plate up, son. Mm-hmm. I'll lick it up. But the thing about Valentine's Day is, is like, I don't know the rules like of like, Is sending like a gift to somebody's job is that weird? Do you consider that weird? Would you ever do that? I don't consider it weird. I think it's a cliche, sentimental thing. To like, like, why can't you just open when you're here? Yeah, but now I gotta carry this home too. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's like, I would hate to be at work and someone sends me something. I'm like, no, nah, I gotta fucking drag this on the train. Yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. I got to carry this fucking vase. Yeah. You say vase or vase. I, I switch it on that, to be <laughs> honest with you. Vase? Vase? For some reason, my mom would always correct me when I would say vase. She, a vase. Mm. It's like... Maybe she's pretentious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into it. No, 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 no. But I, oh, 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 the thing that we were talking. Or about. like some people like will send like their like I've seen on Instagram they'll they'll send their girlfriend something at work and it's like a human sized teddy bear and mad chocolate. It's like bro, now she's got to hire a team to like transport this back to her car. If somebody that I was employed, if I employed somebody and that was sent there, I'd fire them immediately. <laughs> Get your fucking bear and get the fuck out of here. It's a place of business, not a place of love. Do your job. Get this goddamn chocolate and this goddamn bear out of here. It's a fire hazard. Here's another thing. Valentine's chocolate? Garbage. doo trash. Russell Stover is garbage. Russell Stover, you're never going to sponsor this show or give me money ever. <laughs> so fuck you guys. Absolute garbage. But your, your product sucks. Whitman's, though. Whit- no, nah, all of it sucks. No, a Whitman sampler? No, nah, what was that? Whitman sampler? No, nah, it sucks. It all sucks. No, nah, Whitman sampler. Anything that I open up and I have to like, first of all, I'm, I'm like, it's like a fucking puzzle. I'm like, wait, hold on. This is the rectangle and this is the circular? Like, where is, this, is it? Is this coconut? Is this coconut in this one? See, you don't mix coconut and fucking chocolate. Those yeah. are garbage. Yeah, I don't like it. All right, and then you're throwing in like random walnuts in this thing. What are you trying to make? A fucking little bomb of bullshit chocolate? Get this thing out of here. The caramel ones, first ones to go. Good night. And then milk chocolate, crushing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crushing yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I was doing. This like I'm crushing it up and snorting it. Like, <sighs> yeah, it's hot. It's God, nice. I love milk chocolate in my God, veins. So good. No, but those those, those are those are garbage. Yeah. No, I think the thing that I was talking about before that I forgot. Just give me Kit Kats. Yeah, you fucking crush Kit Kats, dude. I love Kit Kats, dude. Worried about you. What's your favorite chocolate like thing? Oh, it's absolutely 100% Snickers. <sighs> Over Twix? Here's why I don't like Twix. Uh, I feel like sometimes I get a bad Twix. Like, Twix isn't my number one. It's your, a bad Twix. Yeah, like, they'll be broken already. Like, uh, like the piece, like, the nice chocolatey caramel piece will be, like, broken off, and it's just, like, the nougat underneath. Who do, oh, when you bite into it? Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like when they separate either. I don't like that. S- Snickers, I know what I'm getting every time. I know what I'm getting every time. I'm not. A, I mean, I like, I like frozen s- Snickers. I like a Snickers. I like frozen Snickers. Too. They are so good. Yeah. It took it took some time to warm up to it, to be honest with you. Because the first bite is so cold. Yeah. But you also have to drive your teeth into a cold Snickers bar. Yeah. It's really like, mm, I might not come out of this with a, I might, I might leave here without a tooth. And then you also have like that one peanut that's like kind of hanging out of like that thing. It's like, oh man, do I suck this peanut? Yeah. I'm going to suck this peanut. You always suck the peanut. Gotta suck the peanut. Yeah. Gotta suck the peanut. The thing that I forgot is you were saying that I'm very good at complaining. Yeah. I think that's what it was. 
And I am. Oh, you're bringing this way back. I know, but I'm just saying I am. I am fantastic at that. Yeah. And I just wanted that. It, that shit was bothering me that I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. And now yeah. you know what it is. Now I know what it is. All right. But yeah, I can call anybody and fucking get my money back. I'm fantastic at it. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think, also chocolate. <clears throat> wait, hold on. Chips Ahoy or Oreo? Uh, are we talking chew? Are we talking regular? Blue bag, red bag? It's up to you. Um. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's start I'm easy. Gonna, I'm go, I'm go. Hold on. Let's start easy. Chewy or regular Chips Ahoy? Chewy all the way. You're a dumb bitch. No, I'm not. Chewy's gross. No, you want to know why? Che- a cookie should should have some crunch. No, I understand that, but the the I don't like Chips Ahoy cookies for their crunch. I like them for their taste. So chewy, less of a cleanup. No. And they hold milk better. I don't give a fuck. Just letting you know how I feel. Regular Chips Ahoy are better than Chewy. Chewy's dog shit. In okay. the cookie world, it's dog shit. No, you know what's dog shit that's worse than that? The fucking uh, reverse Oreos. Why, why are you doing this? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Well, that's... Why are you that, giving us 19 different versions yeah, of it? Don't give me a dyslexic Oreo. Anything that has a white cookie on it, get the fuck out of well, here. Well, you like those Michael Jackson cookies? What? The half white, half black ones? What is that? The, like cut down the middle. Remember, it's like no. half, it's half. Oh, oh, like yeah. the marble ones. The okay. the ba- you get like in bakeries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanilla, half black. These those are right. Jackson I'm not crazy about them, but like they're I'll eat them. Yeah, they're not better than like Oreos or chips. Ahoy! Or yeah, you also got your fucking asshole shredded for saying Samoas were trash. Yeah, I know. Even my own and, family and, texted and me. Thin Mints. So your cookie opinions, I don't know if I can run with them. Thin Mints are fucking disgusting, and I'm never going to back down from that. Double down on it, kid. I'll try. Double down on it right now. I'll try. Die tribe on that ass. I will, I will try a Samoa and give it another shot. You it should. came off the heels of Thin Mints, so I could have eaten anything at that point, and right. I would have you know, thrown up. I'll give Samoas another shot because everyone swears by them. Thin are they Mints, still though, here? Uh, I think they are in my Let fridge. Me, I'll check. I'll check. I'll check. Oh, keep you're compl- check? Keep complaining. Okay. So I'm going to try Samoas again. Dan, they're in the back of the fridge. Purple box. You already know. Um... But a lot of people were complaining about that. Even some of my own family members were like, I can't even, I, I don't believe this. I Like, how are we related and you don't? Oh, and this is going to happen, isn't it? It is going to happen. Because, listen, honestly, I, I had to agree with them. This whole thing about the Samoas not being good. It, they're a good cookie, man. This seems like the one that everyone was upset about. Like, a lot of people were like, oh, no, I like Thin Mints, but I get it. But, like, I this one, they you. were like, Yo, fuck your ass. Yeah. I agree with you on Thin Mints, one hundred percent. I do all the way. Yeah, Samoas. I I couldn't I couldn't get on board with you. I was worried about you. I really was. No, I understand. I I disrespected some people. You know. You know. But um, listen, if you really don't like them, you don't like them. Yeah, I can't. What do you want me to do? You know, I don't want you to bite this and lie. That's the one thing I don't want you to do. What pretend that I like them? Don't eat this and lie right now. But that I don't like them. Yeah. Or that I do like them. No, don't lie and say you like them if you don't like them. Respect the game. I respect the game. All right. I stood up to all those people, all those Samoa and Thin Mint lovers. Thin Mints can go to fucking hell. I agree with you. I agree. I, I will go into the depths of hell with you against Thin Mints. Samoas, I might leave you at the. I uh, might leave you at the gate. I'm not going to lie. I promise, I'm not going to lie. I did say even in the video when we <clears> did the things, I said, "Listen, it didn't help that I ate a Thin Mint before this, right? So it could have some still mint in my face. You know, not put, a big mint guy. Put the thing in your face right now." It is nowhere near the same, like tasting the same as it did that day. It tastes better. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna finish it. Yeah. There you go. You spit it out. I know. That's a good fucking cookie, man. This is a good cookie. Yeah. See, I like the caramel texture to it. There you go. This is a good cookie. Yeah. I told you. Thin mints ruined it. That's, that's how bad. What, that's what that's I heard. How bad thin said, mints are. Yeah. Wow, they, this is game changing. A lot of people are going to be like, now they won't sit in the back of your fridge. Now you you've saved a lot of face here today. Yeah, and honestly, you wouldn't lie. No, I'm not lying. I've, I've seen you spit out food all the time. You don't care. I'm gonna eat another one. Yeah, they're fucking fantastic. <laughs> These are good. I told you, man. I told now you. Now I'm just I'm honestly impressed by Thin Mints being so fucking bad. <laughs> they ruined this for me. I know. I know. That's why everyone was like, dude, what are you talking about? Yeah. 
All right. So now that now I'm happy that we got you back on 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 the right track here. Yeah, they're not great for you. 150 yeah, calories yeah, yeah, yeah. and two cookies. Well, you had a great day at the gym today. Yeah. I ran a mile for the first time this week. Thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put that out there. Yeah. Running is so hard. I can't <laughs> run. I can't. I, I can't. That's the thing, though. You don't. That's why you can't. No, I can't. You can't. I'm, I'm so afraid. Of what? Of just being like... Just running. It hurts. Your running hurts. Well, which dude. part of you hurts when you run? My lower back. Mm. Like the first like quarter mile, I was like, wow, I could do this. And then immediately I was like, nah. I'm sorry. I'm still just kind of. No, 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 no. Do your thing. Do I'm your blown thing. away. Yeah. I'm happy that you. I'm actually happy that you like it. I'm shocked. Yeah, man. That's a good fucking cookie, bro. That's a good cookie. Yeah. See? We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. <laughs> Samoas are officially good. All right, good. Um, I should have brought you some water too. Sorry about that. No, it's not even like that dry. All the other cookies were like super dry. This one's yeah. not dry. Crush the caramel. Refrigerated too probably adds a little little pop to it. Mm -hmm. You know, what's your idea of like a good Valentine's Day gift? Flowers. Do you still get the candy even though they're trash trash? No, I think Valentine's Day should just be dinner indoors. Or going out? No, no, no. Like going out. Yeah, going out. But like, no, I feel like you don't like like gifts on Valentine's Day. I've never done like item gifts. No, it's like always Valentine's Day gifts of like here's like a teddy bear and like a card and like yeah chocolates or whatever. But I just I think I feel like that's a, like a teenage thing. And I'm gonna go on the record. I'm gonna stand up for the boys. We don't get shit. <laughs> I like flowers. Where the fuck are my flowers? You like flowers? I love them. I love flowers. You know, I've never even thought about if I liked flowers or yeah, not. Yeah, flowers are awesome. I love flowers. If somebody gave me flowers as a gift, I'd be so happy. Like a bouquet? Yeah. I think flowers are beautiful. Yeah, they add so much to your house. They smell nice. They make everything look clean. They're beautiful. You're breaking down gender roles right now. I'm just telling you. Like, I, I like... I'm cool with some flowers. If somebody sent me flowers as a gift, I'd be like, that is so nice. I wouldn't be like, what the fuck is this? I think they just associate flowers with girls. That's fucked up. Hey. I like flowers. I don't, I, you know, I've never even thought about if I did like flowers. You ever think about putting flowers in here from time to time? I like some flowers. I got some fla plants or a guy thing. Plants are cool. Plants, plants are, are fucking dope. You need plants in your bathroom. Yeah, plants are fucking cool. I, Cause you want to know what it is? I think it's be it's being surrounded by something that's like, like not, it's, I'm going to sound dumb, but this, like. This is going to sound dumb. No, like industrial, like built in your house and like, you know what I mean? It's like something from outside. It's alive. You water it. You know, it's mm -hmm. organic. You, you, it adds some responsibility. It, it adds some responsibility. It's it adds a little uh, pizzazz, pizzazz, and personality to where you live, to your living space. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's what I want. I just want my I want my living space to pop. <laughs> you know, let get it some pop. flowers. Get the, someone get this boy some flowers Send for God's me some sake. Goddamn flowers! I'll get you some flowers. Thanks, bud. That that I appreciate. As far as a vase, vase, a that, you're on your own there. A vase, vase. Did you did you ever have one of those stereotypical kid? Excuse me. Stereotypical kid moment. It's like, oh my god, we broke grandma's vase. Uh, probably. I've broken pretty much everything in I, my house. I broke a couple lamps one time. I spilled whiteout all over our dinner room table. Dude, I miss whiteout what? so much. Yeah, did you, did you do this? Dude. Yeah, I'm smelling that white out. I sniffed the shit out of white out. I, I think I sniffed pretty much everything when I was younger. Yeah. Like, I was crushing markers. Like, yo, in, they, yo, not my fault. You made those markers so delicious smelling. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? You remember you would open? It's like, oh, my God, the pink one smells like bubblegum. Yeah. And bubblegum was like the, th it was like blowjobs yeah. for children. Why, why, yeah. Why, so it's like, yo, I'm going to crush it. <sighs> like, I was crushing <sighs> that, that thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I mean, blowjob for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got but you. I got children, you. they had they had bubblegum stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. blowjobs for children. I used to think. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think. I almost agreed with that too, and then immediately my brain actually worked, no. and I was just like, uh. I didn't say 
children are getting blowjobs. I got you. I'm saying it's I the equivalent. Our you. equivalent. Listen, I understood you. I'm just protecting you. It starts as bubble gum, <laughs> and then it becomes blowjobs when and you get all, to a certain age. And then also, don't make stuff that you can't eat smell like stuff you can eat. Those stickers, scratch and sniff. Oh, my. I want to eat this now. Do you think they have scratch and sniff tattoos? How would that even work? And dude, I would How do, do tattoos that. even work? What if you get like a mosquito bite? You're just like, yo, I smell like cherries in here. It's like, <laughs> I, I was in the backyard. <laughs> I, I have no bug off. <laughs> bug off? Yeah, it's like the spray it's called. I thought it was just called off. No, I think it's called bug off. Like bug off. Sound like Ebenezer Scrooge. Bug off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be such a fucking decrepit old bastard when I get older. I can't wait. I cannot wait to just be, like, so mad at the get world. Get out of my yard, <laughs> you little fucks. Yo. Because kids are going to be, like, you wanna hear running a, the world. You want to hear a fucking funny story about get out of my yard? Nah. Anyway, so, Danny, where can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> what? About get out of my yard? What yeah, does that even mean? Yeah. That's you, a topic? You know J.K. Simmons, the actor? Uh, Schillinger, Schillinger from Oz. And he played like the head guy, uh, not the head guy, the head newspaper guy in the original Spider-Man yes, trilogy. Yes, yes, yes. That's that what I was guy. thinking of. Yeah. yeah. He used to live in my town. Mm-hmm. And when we used to walk home or go to my friend's house, we would cut through his backyard. Ooh. One day. JK was lying JK in traps. JK. Yeah. Starts screaming at us. Yeah. Get out of my yard. And he's filming us. With a video camera. One of these? His wife had the camera, and he was yelling. Wait, so this was back in the day. It was this? like. Yeah, it was, it was like one of those. Not not like the, the, like the pack ones, but it was my like. My mom had that It one. was a JVC pop-out for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Because we walked through his yard every day, and he was going to like complain to the town, probably. I don't know. He's a fucking actor living in our fucking town, being an Man, asshole. Man, if you're, if you're complaining to the town, that is white Hello. shit. Hello. That's he was, very white. Get out of my yard! So we would, we would do it on purpose then, then almost every day after that. But um, I remember... No fences? No. Fuck that. Dude, we're kids walking around. You get fucking deer, you're going to tell them to get out of there too? We'll just cross them. No, I'm saying it. he didn't have a fence? No. Oh, if have you don't fence. have a fence, fair game. Nah, man. Dude, everyone with their doors unlocked where I lived, you could fucking just walk in and take whatever you want and just return it. Yeah. And just <laughs> return it. You know what I mean? But uh, my mom saw him in California recently. In a in like in a place eat, uh, eating, and my mom goes up to him. She goes, "Hey, uh, we're from ha- we're from Hastings. You know, we used to see you around town." He's like, "Oh, hey." She was like, "Yeah, you videotaped my son in your backyard. You used to yell at him all the time." And he was like, "Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah." The kids were always walking around in the backyard. I was like, "Mom, why the fuck <laughs> would you say that to J.K. Simmons? Twenty years later, is what you say to him?" Amazing. What are you doing? You know, but the only thing that would have been better if you'd be like, yo, fuck your son. Yeah. Those kids <laughs> yeah. drove me insane. Yeah. He's like, your son and his friends fucking suck ass. I hope they all have horrible careers. And you're a bitch <laughs> yeah. for making that kid. I'm <laughs> eating food. Get the fuck out of my face. And fuck you and fuck my old backyard. Yeah, and then he moved. And then he got like like super more famous. So yeah. now he's like out in L.A. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I'll fucking son J.K. Simmons though if I see him on the street. I'd be like, yo, I'll walk to your fucking backyard right now. What's good? Yeah. But that was my story about J.K. Simmons and backyards. I don't have any J.K. Simmons stories. No. Do you have any, like, uh, who's this? Did you have any celebrities live in your neighborhood, though, like when you were growing up? Like, mm-hmm. like where you lived? No. No? I don't think so. Who was, like, the most famous person before you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anybody. From Astoria? Yeah. I'm sure there's someone. I just, I just. Can't. No, like athletes or anything. No, not a story. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's some queen, like Queens in, rappers, in, obviously. In the um, how far does Jamaica Queens from here? Oh, like ten minutes. The Queensbridge, right over there. Yeah, I lived three blocks from Queensbridge. My last apartment was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the baseball league over here. Yeah. Uh, it's like a couple blocks away. Uh, Manny Ramirez used to play in that. Yeah, because he used to live in Washington Heights. He's a lefty or a righty. He is a righty. Right. And he used to hit bombs lefty. Yeah. And he was like the best player anyone's ever seen. They were saying he used also, to... Also, wait, Whitey Ford 
So Damn, son, had, you're going way back. Yeah, no, I don't remember Whitey Ford. <laughs> I was not alive. But, like, do you remember when Whitey Ford pitched a like, uh, perfect game in the World Series? Thomas Jefferson, actually, is from Astoria. <laughs> um, no, but you've been to my mom's. Yes. And you know how, like, the outside deck? Yes. So across the street, there's that factory. That used to be Whitey Ford's batting cage. Really? Yeah, and he was outside one day. Uh, and it was like the opening or whatever, and my uncle was like waving at him. They were like yelling at each other from across the street. <laughs> isn't, that's, that, isn't that so funny? Like it's like ha- having conversations with people from across the street. <laughs> like you'll literally be sitting with people just being like, what's going on? What are you doing? It's like nothing. All right. Well, it's good to see you. No, no use for it. Text me. Text me. <laughs> stop, stop yelling. Yeah, don't stop yelling. That's an old person thing. What, yelling? Across the street conversations. Yeah, cross the street convos, not having them, not having them. I don't even like saying hi to you. Literally, <laughs> I, I like I I won't say hi to people unless they're like within three inches of me. <laughs> if you're down the block, I don't don't wave at me because I'm really not gonna return it. And I'm definitely not gonna yo, go. Yo, you are not a waver. I don't think I've ever seen you wave, ever. <laughs> I don't flag people down. No, hell no. No, I know. Very rare. Very rare, and I feel like every time, like, uh, like even if you see me like across the street, like if you're coming to pick me up or something, or if I'm meeting you no outside, reaction. you'll never be like, you just get out of your car and open the door. I'm like, what's going on? Not big on greeting. You're not a big greeter. I guess not. I need to be more like uh, Keith's like that too, though. No, Keith. It will. He won't even say hi to me. <laughs> He's never said hi to me in, in his life. He's a cat. He is a cat. You know? Keith is a cat. It's a cat. It's a fucking hilarious cat. Shout out to Keith. We got to get him doing some poetry in here. I don't care what he says. If I got to fucking drag him in here. Dude, Keith's hysterical. I was on his Twitch stream last night. Go check it out. Twitch.tv slash Santagato. He's fucking good at Fortnite. Yeah, he is. He says he sucks. He's full of shit. Well, he's just like the most humble person in the world, and it's like annoying. Yeah. He's, he's, just like, he's like, I suck. I'm like, dude, you, you had you like had 55, 55 kills. <laughs> This kid had 55 kills in one like match. I'm Remember, like, yo, what the fuck? Uh, what was it? COD World at War? Uh, yeah. w- World War Two. We played that. He had like 47 kills and four deaths. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. This is like before I knew, knew Keith. I was like, this kid can play anything. Yeah. And be good at it. Pretty much. Yeah. Yo, I used to love Battlefield 1. Me and Keith played like yeah. fucking hell. Remember like that was like the hangout though? Like weekends just... Crush video just games. Just crush video games. And fruit roll-ups. Oh, yeah. Remember fruit snacks? Yeah, dude. Well, <sighs> The Scooby-Doo's? Scooby-Doo's. Uh, also, amazing in the fridge. Hell yeah. Gushers? Oh. oh. Get at me, dog. Yo, I'm not, I'm not even joking. I would put a whole fucking pack of those in my ass. I've never... Right now. I've, I've never ate one. No. Yeah, they're all, first of all, they're all connected. Mm. Someone's got to figure it out over there. Let's yeah. just make it one thing. No, but I like that, though. I love it, too. Because you can take it apart. Let's just mm. fucking take it out. Fucking I'll be on. I'll, jam it in my pee hole. I'll go out on a, a limb here. Not one bad flavor of a gusher. Not even close. They're fantastic. If Talk this, about to knocking it out of the park. Gushers crushed it. Yes. Yes, they did. Crushed. If this entire table... Was filled with gushers. I could finish it. Yeah, I would help you. Yeah, I, I, I'd get a hole in my like chest yeah, or something. Yeah, like, I, my, my heart would fail. But I, I'd, I'd be able medicine to, for sure. Yeah, I'd have to like definitely. Yeah, you know, take a break, drink some water. Yeah. Do you think you could ever go horseback riding? <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my head. <laughs> gushers horseback <laughs> riding. <laughs> um, do I think I could ever go horseback? No, riding? because I was watching CNN last night and they were. Uh, they were just showing like stuff about like farmers or some shit, and I saw people riding horses. Yeah, I don't think I could ever ride a horse. Why not? Because I'd be too afraid. Just hold on for dear life. Baby. No, man, they, dude. I think you ever see that video of that horse that goes up and falls back on that woman? Yeah, it's awesome. No thanks. Yeah, but you you live, I think. Fuck no, dude. You're no? gonna get hurt. That thing's gonna crush everything. In you. How much do you think a horse weighs? Oh, Let's no. both take guesses. Man, I'm really not good at this stuff. I'm going to say 1,200 pounds. I'll say like 800. 800. A male horse. <laughs> what, are they, wait, are they like one of those things where the females the females are smaller, right? Dude, I don't know. I don't know shit about horses. <laughs> I wrote, how much does a male horse weigh? Whoa, you were right. It's like 1,300. Dude, let that fall on your chest. That's like picking up a Prius and throwing it on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo. That's fucking scary. Yeah, no, those things are majestic beasts. Yeah. Those things will kill you, They son. got legs on them. You ever rub a fucking horse's head? It's that fire. thing is granite. Yeah. I'm like, what they're is... Tough. this? tough. Tough sons of bitches. Jesus. Ugly fucks. No, nah, they're cute. No, nah, they got the big... If you look at them from the front, they're weird looking. Yeah, I don't dude. like the front, but I like, I like going like the side. Like, you ever like, you know... You ever Pet- see Free Willy and he's like petting the whale? Yeah. And you're like, ah, his, this, looking at this eye is kind of cute. I would pet a whale. I would love to pet a whale. Yeah, I would pet a whale. I would pet... Dolphin. A seal. Have you ever a touched... dolphin? Have you ever swam with dolphins? Or no, 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 no. Me either. Yo, I just saw a video, by the way. I was I, way, like, too broke growing up to, to get, be anywhere near a dolphin. Hey, to be fair, <laughs> I haven't touched a fucking dolphin. <laughs> I touched a stingray once. Yes, I've done that. I've done that. Whoa! Yeah! A little dangerous to me, but anyway, yeah. something with a stingray, I feel like it's, you know. There's... All aquatic animals, I feel like I want to touch them all. Yeah. But, I, but I'd be afraid. Oh, man, I want to hug a bear so hard. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I would I, I would want to be one of those crazy stories that end up on the news where, like, I somehow fall into the bear thing, but, like, the bear protects me. Yeah. And, like, holds me. She, yeah. You know, like, takes me in as one of their own. Yeah. As soon as I fell into, like, a bear thing, I would start walking like a bear. I wouldn't be afraid. Danny. I would just pretend. To, no, no, no. I'm saying I would be afraid. Yeah. I would be terrified. Yes. But I would try to act like I wasn't and just start like moving like an animal. You have to. I, I would just. I don't know what I would do. I'd probably cry. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend like That's I, why I think it's safer to pet aquatic animals. Dude, yeah. Like even like pol- do you count polar bears? No, they're they're not aquatic animals. They're they land, swim. They're, they're, they swim. They're in that tank, bro. I know they're in that tank. Uh, they, Yo, manatees? They, they, they walk on land. Pet a manatee? I, yeah. I want to pet a big-ass whale, though, bro. Yeah. I wonder what a whale feels like. Probably just like a dick. Yeah. Like a wet-ass dick. A smooth penis. A smooth penis. Yeah. Do other animals have pubes? Hey. It's weird how dogs have completely hairy dicks, and their dicks are inside of them. Yeah. Right? It's very protected. This is going to sound super dumb. What else is now? Fish have dicks, right? <laughs> I wish you weren't hitting me with these hard-hitting questions right now. I, I, I assume, do they fuck? I think they do. Or do they just like spray little eggs on people or something? I don't know. I I, I grew up with fish. Never seen fish Oh, you grew fuck. up with fish? I grew up with... Not personally. <laughs> I had them in a bowl. Aquaman over here. Yeah. No, I had them in a bowl. <laughs> and uh, I've never seen them fuck. So maybe they don't. Damn, dude. Nah, they have to fuck. Please check if, if a fish has a penis. Because to me, to be honest, I have, I have my phone. I'll check. I'll check. Okay. I'll check. But to, to be honest with you, I don't think they have penises. I hope that I'm wrong. I know dolphins have dicks. Wait, so if a don't dolphin... Don't ask how if I a know dolphin, that. If a dolphin has a dick... Yeah, it's technically a fish. But it's like, yeah. a, it's like a weird, slimy thing. It doesn't look like a penis. It looks like a... I don't even know. It honestly just looks like you cut Whoa, a Whoa, no. Piece this of thing has a real penis, oh, dude. The, with like balls? Yeah, look at his dick, dude. What's that? It's a dolphin's dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that look. Oh, wow. That is that is a one pointy fucker. Can that pierce you? It's piercing can, somebody. Can you penny? Can you get pennied by a dolphin penis? This peen? looks like a, an eagle's talon, but like covered in muscle. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a pretty thick dick, too. Yeah, it's a solid penis on. Yeah, him. it's a solid penis on the dolph. That's a bottlenose dick. That's a bottlenose peen peen. All right, let me let me type in fish penis. All right, I got you. I don't know how I ended up doing this, but <laughs> fish penis. Ew, why is? Do they have penises? <laughs> the first thing I see is just this. I don't know if those are like a collection of penises. That could be them. But I don't. I don't think so. I don't think fish have penis. I think they just like spray stuff on each other, like like little weird animals. So this is kind of weird. This is the second picture on Google. It's just a picture of a fish, but then the caption says "fish in a penis." Someone what? put a fish in their penis. Let me see. Sharks have two penises. Whoa! Sharks got two penises. Are we dropping knowledge here? Shark penis. Yo, how, uh, why, you got to be like the king of the sea and have two cocks? I've never learned this. I've watched a lot of Shark Week, too. What do you do with two dicks? Fuck. 
Yeah, probably. Oh wow! It looks like a. Oh, they got. It looks like a, it looks like a, a another long, fish. It looks like a long vagina. It look. It does look like a long vag. Yeah. That's a long ass sniz they have. Whoa! What is it? A split sniz? Is this real? Let me see. Look at that. That's a whale dick. Oh my god. Yo, literally, it's a wrecking ball. It's a wrecking ball I penis. Gotta I gotta see it up close. Yo, that's a. Oh. I wonder how much they weigh. Yo, we we can both fit in it. Like we can both hug each other and fit in a whale's dick. Dude, you could jump on that thing and hold on to it for dear life. I would slide right into the whale's pee hole. That's the biggest dick I've. Dude, it's that can knock down a building. Hell yeah. It could literally just sway and just. We could crawl. We could crawl up that thing's pee hole easily it, without question. That is unbelievable. Wait, if a whale ate me, it would shit you out. Would I live if I had an oxygen thing? No. What would kill? Oh, the probably the, the stomach acids. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. I think I could survive a good amount of time in a whale. It's just weird that these things have penises, dude. Yeah, I honestly think if an if a whale ate me, I could I could survive a good amount of time before yeah, but, I died. But I think they're gonna blow you out the hole. Maybe you might be too small. Dude. I don't think that's how that works. What gets blown out of the hole? I know. Air. I know, but there's also other stuff. They eat they're not kelp. shitting out of the top of their heads, Danny. Dude, they eat kelp. I don't even know what that is. It's little things. Their mouth is just bristles. That's what they eat. They don't eat like... Oh, they, not kelp. Uh, what's that? Uh, plankton? Plankton. and Yeah, whatever. That, that's what they what's eat. What's kelp? Was that like kale before the ocean? I don't know. It's like health, a healthy alternative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny to be stupid. But, uh, but um, I was like, um, they don't eat people. But if they accidentally open their mouth and you get in there... I'll get sucked into that thing. Yeah, I think you could stand in a whale's blowhole. I've never seen one of these holes. I want to know how big their blowholes are now. Google that. Damn, dude. We're learning a lot today. Yo, yeah, dude. And also, you guys are learning. And we don't charge you guys anything. <laughs> Yo. You're getting an education, bitch. Honestly, whales are really scary. And now if I find out that I could accidentally slip into a blowhole, I'll get even more scared. All right. Now that I've seen their penises, I'm just intimidated. We know blue whales are huge, but their blowholes only can reach up to 20 inches in length. So that's like this. A good party you can get in there. I could slip into that blowhole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could fit right by it. Dude, I, I've like fit into smaller places. It says that's big enough to squeeze a baby through or a Ford Focus. That's a pretty big scale. I've been around a lot of babies. I've seen my share of Ford Focuses. Not the same size. Nowhere close. Who wrote that article? Was the guy looking at babies with a magnifying glass? Yeah, this is a mash. This is a mashable. Uh, Fucking idiots. Yeah. It could fit a baby or the Empire State. <laughs> it's like yeah. Uh, maybe maybe a baby whale. They're talking about. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. You know what's weird? How hermit crabs like switch up cribs. Word. Just like, like, yo, I'm done with this one. Just like, nah, this is trash. I'm about to just like live in this soda can for like a couple weeks. We used to have a hermit crab growing up. What was his name? Her name was Mrs. Crabtree. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know it was a girl? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Mrs. Crabtree was, uh, I think I believe that was the teacher from Little Rascals. The blonde. Ellen Crabtree. Who had a porno voice. From what? The Little Rascals. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you've never seen it. Yes, I have. Donald Trump's in it. He is in it yeah. for a second, yeah. Wow, that is weird. He's also in Home Alone, too. Yeah, I know that. Um, But she had a porn of us. Like, yeah, we're collecting money for the race. And you're like, oh, my God. I got to go back and watch Little Rascals. Fuck, yeah. But anyway, her name was Mrs. Crabtree. Keith won. Froggy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keith won, um, won it at a fair. He did that, like, you throw a, a ball, and it bounces, and it went to the cup, and he won a fucking hermit crab. And, of course, being, like, if you're a parent... At I want a, a fucking crab! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're at a, if you're a parent and your kid wins at a fair, you're like, yo, please just pick a fucking, like, a stuffed animal. And he's like, bro, give me the hermit crab. <laughs> and then he used to take it out and play with it, you know? Like, Morticia Adams playing with shit. You know what I mean? So he too would take it out and play with a crab. Like just going like this. And like, then one day it just like got out and we didn't know where it went. Damn. And we were like, fuck, there's a crab on the loose here. 
And then we ended up finding it like outside. Oh, okay. Dead or alive? It was alive, but it died like, you know, like three days later. I mean, it's from a fair. Dude, you if you got? get a fish from a fair, it's got maybe 48 hours before yeah. this thing's swimming. Yeah. You know? I like fish. I like fish. You like fish. You like flowers. What else you like? Plants. That's about, that's about it. Yeah, just those two. I do like plants, though. Me too. But I do like, what, what's your favorite aquatic animal? Mine's a dolphin for sure. They're fucking badass, dude. Dolphins are cool. Dolphins fucking have sex. I saw a video of a dolphin jumping out of the water at a real life woman and then humping. Like, fucking. Try to fuck a woman with this that pink bottlenose cock. Do, uh, isn't there something like... Uh, d- d- um, Whoa, you okay? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm trying to think. Yeah, we did talk about it. Didn't you say they rape... Yeah, and then we found out it was a myth. It was a myth, right? Yeah, me oh. and Frankie were talking about how dolphins like rape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I had yeah. heard that for so long. Yeah, but that, that, now you're saying there's a video evidence of it now. That I'm was, assuming this woman did not want to be jumped on by a dolphin. I mean, I'm not going to make assumptions, but I will say she did look a little shocked. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not making any claims. I'm just reporting the news. That's all. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I don't know. You know? Maybe it's that's like just a, one bad apple. Do you ever do you ever watch S, uh, SNL when like Keenan would do like that uh like that <laughs> that inmate that would come in to like talk to like the kids? No. Nah. Oh, dude, I'll send you those skits. Uh, they're fucking hysterical. But I think he says something about a dolphin in one of them. It's like real funny. I can't remember the joke though. But uh, everyone, I would. Everyone thank Danny for bringing that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people out there will know it's funny, but. Uh, Whoa, that shirt. I just realized what you're wearing. It's a cool shirt, right? Wow. Goofy movie? Great flick. This guy had more sex than dolphins. Also, he Roxanne. Was, he, was, he was supposed to be like MC Hammer, right? Yeah. Yo, Roxanne in Smoke. Goofy movie Smoke. is real life hot. Oh, like the actress? No, I don't know who the actress is. I'm talking about like... Oh, if I saw Roxanne outside right now, I'd be like, she's fucking hot. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, I'm I'm... Whatever. Yeah. Like, whatever you need, I'll do it. It's so weird how they're good at drawing hot cartoons. Yeah. Why? And what is that? It's like a fox, I think. Nah, she's a dog. Even better. Yeah. I love dogs. Yeah. Pet behind her ear, get her leg going. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. You know, be I, easy. I also think she was in high school, though. Well, I'm sure she's of age now. now. And, and now in that movie, are they in high school in dog years? Or are they in high school in regular years? That's true. Because if they're 13, 14, those dogs are old as shit. Yeah. It's your universe. I'm just playing in it. Listen, all I'm saying is she's probably of age now, and I'm a, and I'm like I'm ready for yeah. her. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'd make mistakes with her. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. I wouldn't regret anything. I wouldn't even call them mistakes. I'd no. just kind of be be ready for whatever the consequences yeah. are. Yeah. You ever see like videos like how you said with the dolphin humping? Why do dogs hump? Like legs? Yeah. Like like it's like they're do- they're doing the humping, but like they don't have their balls anymore. And why do female dogs hump? Trying to like it's like scissoring. You think so? Just gotta s- to, get, to get stimulation? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just rub it against the carpet, and it kind of feels like something. Dogs get periods, right? Yeah. They do, right? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Even female dogs can't catch a break, dog. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Uh, Damn, that's gross. Yeah, what were you talking about before the the, the period thing? Right? Oh, I was gonna say, why do female dogs hump? Oh yeah, because of that. But dogs hump because they're just trying to get that nut off. I know, but don't you take their nuts off so they don't do that? Yeah, but they know they got penises. That's true. It's it's animalistic to fuck so much so that if you take my balls, I'm not gonna give up. Yeah. I'm still gonna never hump this whatever. Yeah, and I'll fuck that leg. Fuck yeah. Until something happens. Even if nothing happens. Can still they still gonna fuck it? Can they still jizz? No, right? I've oh. never seen dog jizz. I've never seen dog jizz myself either. Thank God. No. I'm happy I've passed on that. Charlie was never really a humper. Had I've seen him big, th- huge balls. Yo, though. Charlie's balls, I'm not even trying to be funny, way bigger than mine. Yeah. 
He had real man balls. Dangly fucking buffalo nuts. Yeah. My man had grapefruits. R.I.P. those balls. Yeah, we took them away. It's all right. What are you going to do? You're going to do. Anyway, I think we can uh, wrap up on that note. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, before Yo, we go. This one was all over the place, man. Yeah, we're, we're a little, uh, we're a little uh, off, the, off of the rails right now. Just ended talking about Charlie's balls, man. Yeah, man. Uh, we went from talking to dogs to closing with seeing their balls. Wait, what? Because we opened with like talking, like talking to your animals out. Oh, uh, now we're like talking about their balls. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I, t- <laughs> yeah, you know what's crazy? One time, my 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 dog actually gets like offended when I call him a woofer. Really? Yeah, because there was one day where he was just like w- like going like woof. Like you know when dogs just look at you and they're clearly angry and they don't, they want something for you so they just go. Woof. Yeah. So my sister was calling him a woofer, right? And. He then he he like snaps his head and looks at you like, what the fuck did you say to me? Yeah, like we're being derogatory or something. Yo, huge huge question here. What? It's out there. Oh no. Can a dog be gay? I think so. I think I think they can. Yeah, my brother's dog like is all about that penis. Yo, sniffing Eli's ding dong hard body. I know he's he's all about that penis. That's yeah. why I'm like. I, I, I can't see why not. Yeah. You know? I always wondered that. If other animals can be a gay. <laughs> <laughs> are there other gay animals? Yeah, I think so. I think dolphins are gay, aren't they? They are? I think they have sex with both sexes. Why do we know so much about dolphins in their sex life? I don't know. It's just weird. You know? Um, but anyway, to close the show, kind of just wanted to give a shout out to uh, some of our patrons here. Uh, wow! This is the first one that I saw. What is it? I swear to God, the name is Big Dick Jenkins. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Big Dick Jenkins. Well, I don't even if he needs a shout out to one, be honest. One of our one of our patrons, Big Dick Jenkins. Thank you, Carly Pazzi. Paz. Paz. Uh, Cassidy Cunahan. Coonahan. Fuck that up. Uh, Courtney Commander. Whoa. Whoa. You're a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good name. Daniel Giraldo. That's cool. Sounds like he does the news. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Giroux. 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 It's, it's, all, it's spelled like, Matt, like G-I-R-O-U-X. Oh, okay. You know? Giroux. What are you going to do? Uh, Daniela Gasparic. 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 That is that is funky, uh, Darlene. Shout out to you, uh, Eddie Parent. Eddie Parent is that a pun? Air Parent? No, no, I'm not all wow, over the place. That was fucking terrible. Emily Hamilton. Also, shout out to you. Um, and we'll do one more here. We're gonna go. Jalen Hernandez. Jalen Hernandez. Guys, shout out. I just want to give a little shout outs at the end of you know each episode. Uh, to some of our patrons, because we do appreciate you guys, and you know we just want to show some love to you, and know that we're thinking about you. Like, y'all you know? are dope as fuck. But for the most part, we're thinking about Big Dick Jenkins. Yeah. Okay. Whoever that is. <laughs> yeah, Big Dick Jenkins for the win. I would it's say. So funny. Absolutely. I want to find out who that is. Um. Anyway, that is all for this week on the Basement Yard. Danny, where can they find you? At Danny Lopiori on Twitter and Instagram. See, that's I did small hand stuff there. Didn't go big. Went small. Go. Keep it. Keep it simple. Um. You guys can follow me on social media at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show on Instagram at The Basement Yard. And our Patreon, if you would like to sign up, is patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Patreon spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash The Basement Yard. We appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching every single week. Even if you don't sign up, it's cool. But, you know, all the support helps. For sure. So, yeah, that is all. See you guys next time. 21, 21.